You've got the suit, the shirt, the shoes, the socks, the pocket square, the watch. All you're missing is the tie. What tie should you wear with that great outfit you've just put together? 10 classic picks to help you decide, coming right up. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you're watching He Spoke Style, where we are dedicated to giving you all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. This is an update to a video we made on the channel way back when, and as I've evolved over the years, I've gotten a little different perspective, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at 10 new recommendations. There were three considerations I had when I chose each of these ties, versatility, timelessness, and season. And we're gonna do them in four categories, solid, striped, patterned, and formal. Here we go. A navy grenadine tie is the ultimate essential tie. This should absolutely be the first tie that you buy. It's simple, it's incredibly versatile for both occasion and season, but my favorite part about it is the texture. Although it's a solid color, the texture adds a lot of depth and visual interest, which takes any look, especially a business casual look like we've got here, up a notch to a different, more advanced level. A gray wool tie is a great winter addition to your collection of solid ties. Again, it moves very easily between occasions depending on how you style it. Here, I'm pairing it with a gray flannel suit. Love the simplicity. Blue shirt gives it more of an everyday business feel, though if I did a white shirt, it easily becomes more formal. Little bit of subtle pattern, very elegant, though it definitely reads as a solid tie. Just like we think about fabric for suits in terms of seasons, same goes for ties. Linen tie here in a sand color paired with a linen three-piece suit. Browns, in my opinion, whether it's a tie or a suit, are really underrated. And I like to combine different shades of brown together for a really kind of organic and polished look. Unexpected departure from a navy or red striped tie, we have a brown striped tie. Something different without being in your face, still in that classic menswear color palette. I think this is a great option if you want to kind of subtly stand out. Obviously very versatile, but easily works into a simple and traditional suit lineup like grays and the dark navy that we have here. A bigger stripe here with a burgundy and navy wool tie, obviously our winter option as I've paired it with a navy chalk stripe flannel suit. Stripes on stripes on stripes as we have in the suit, shirt, and tie here works when the stripes, or any pattern for that matter, are in different scales. This outfit here makes for a powerful fall and winter business look. A green striped silk tie is a great way to branch out into color for spring and summer without doing anything overly bright or pastel. Consider it a more understated approach for adding some color into your suited style. Lots of great options for summer suits, and here I'm going with Solaro. It's got a really neat iridescent quality to the fabric. You do catch a little bit of green depending on the light, which I think this tie complements really well. Moving into patterns now with a red medallion silk tie. Consider this to be your sartorial power tie, whereas the classic striped power tie has a very distinct business or Wall Street connotation. The deep red with the gold medallions just looks really rich and elegant. And paired with a double-breasted navy suit, it's a very powerful and assertive combination. A blue medallion silk tie is a bit more versatile than our previous tie, both in terms of season, this one you could wear pretty much year-round, and situation. It's an excellent business casual tie and one that if you want to begin experimenting with some simple pattern mixing is a great place to start. Paired here with a striped shirt and navy hop sack suit, you've got a really simple, classic, and easy office look. A plaid or tartan tie is an absolute must have for the holiday season. Personally, I don't like to go too bold, which is why I love this tie that has more of a navy base. Consider this a statement making tie. An easiest way to style it is to keep the rest of the outfit simple and let it be the focal point. Or if you're feeling adventurous like I was here, mixing plaids is always festive. All right, some might not ever have an occasion to wear a tuxedo, but if you're going to wear one, make sure you have a self-tie bow tie. And make sure that the fabric of the bow tie matches the fabric of your lapel. Here it's grosgrain, which was the same as my wedding tuxedo. However, this particular midnight blue tuxedo was not my wedding tuxedo. If you want to see that, check out the video over there where I go through every single detail of what I wore on my wedding day. Tuxedo, 
dinner jacket, shirt, shoes, suspenders, watch, and even more, no detail was left unconsidered.